Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris here, back with another video. And today we have the Honor View 10. Not just the Honor, any ordinary Honor View 10, but it is actually running Android Pi, Android 9.0. So huge thanks to Flex, the developer over on XDA, for producing this uh, ROM. And this is the first release, public release, um, as we can see here, Android 9.0. If we go over to about phone go down to android 9 at the moment it is only running march security patch um i don't know if that's actually legitimate or if it's actually august and maybe that's just not correct i've seen that from other oems they just forget to like essential they pushed out um, android pi but it still shows that it's july security patch so who knows and there is the easter egg so we can see that it is running 9.0 um, you're going to get all the benefits of everything that comes with Android Pi, but since this is a very first release, there are there is definitely going to be bugs. It's not going to be more than likely like battery efficient or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to have like face unlock. You're not going to have the the nice Huawei cam or Honor camera and NPU AI stuff. This is AOSP, as you can see, um, bare bones. It doesn't have uh, Google Apps, you have to flash that separately, um, which I have done. Um, you have to flash the unofficial open gaps, and we can see swiping up brings up your recents, and then another swipe up will bring your app drawer, and we can see in a different animation, and one swipe up bring up your app drawer there. Um, as far as camera, that does work. There's all your settings, things like that. And then in here's your quick toggles. Now the icons now look um, different as you'd expect with Android Pi. Your settings menu under display, you do have the ability for a device theme for dark or light mode. And we can see now everything is lighter with in regards to like folders and things like that. Now this is kind of odd up here. This is more than likely due to um, like the notch support that is now in Android Pi. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be changed or whatnot. That's something small there. Um, we can see here's a battery. There's not gonna be like adaptive battery or anything like that um, from the Pixel. So keep that in mind. So those sort of features are gonna be Pixel exclusive, at least for the time being. But anyways, guys, there it is. Um, Android Pi on the View 10. This is the first look at it. If we go into settings, gestures, you can toggle on and off the swipe up, so, or you can have the standard navigation bars if you so choose. And then you can see there, there's the swiping left and right. And so if we turn that on, so let's go ahead and just open some more apps just to test it out. And there's a swiping back and forth. You can hear the vibration of every single preview when you're swiping. So if you want to maybe turn that off, you can go into your sound settings and things like that to disable mm -hmm. uh, touch vibration. So now, yeah, there you go. So there's no more vibration there. Um, so you flash this via TWRP. I did it via side load in TWRP via ADB. Um, and then you're going to also want to flash open gaps thereafter. Um, so that way you at least get Google Play Store, Play Services, and the like. Otherwise, you won't have any of that. Huge thanks and great work, Flex, for being able to bring this over. Um, I pr would expect to have more ROMs, such as GSI type ROMs, builds um, for other devices at the moment. Um, that's one of the nice benefits of Treble and also Oreo Pi support and things like that, you're able to um, use GSI to be able to run a lot of systems on various devices, so it's not having to be so much device specific. It seems like the copy and paste feature from your recents menu is not uh, working. Um, that might be fixed in a later update, so I'm trying to press and hold some of this text and nothing, nothing's copying there, but you can see Overall, it's very fast, fluid um, for our first build, 
just uh, just know you're not going to get all the functionality of a standard View 10 running stock EMUI uh, versus this, but you do have at least uh, Android Pie before everyone else. So anyways, thank you guys for watching at this first look. Hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great day.